Hey guys, today I will talk about uh, gold and after it's a strong rally, uh, it has reached um, a supply zone, a resistance zone and um, later today guys, the fundamentals uh, should move the markets, the US economic data um, uh, could bring uh, high volatility and sharp movements on, uh, on gold as well, risk disclaimer here, so please read it and uh, let's take a look, gold, right, uh, strong rally, strong rally but um, right now, um, it has uh, it has printed only false breakouts maybe above this former high and um, right now it has retreated a little it moves sideways uh, let's take a look on uh, one hour for example so a sideways movement also here okay in an indecision in the short uh, in the short term but uh, later today guys the final uh, gross domestic product um, and the unemployment claims, the US uh, final uh, GDP and uh, unemployment claims could uh, could really shake the markets, could bring uh, high volatility. And uh, personally, I believe that um, the price will um, the the price of gold will, could register a strong uh, strong move in the short uh, in the short term. So after it's um, after it's strong uh, strong rally, we cannot exclude a, a retreat. Okay, and um, yeah, in in my opinion. In my opinion, only a valid breakout, uh, a new higher high, taking out 1,971 could signal potential for their growth after uh, after its false breakdown here um, below uh, below this 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 former low. But as I said, after its strong rally, it could um, retreat a little, um, and then it could uh, it could extend its uh, its growth. It remains to see how it will react around the, the U.S. data because, in my opinion, better than expected U.S. data. Okay, positive um, economic uh, data should uh, should leave the U.S. Uh, dollar and could um, could force the the yellow metal to drop a little in the short term, and the poor economic data, worse than expected data, could um, yeah actually could uh, could weaken the U.S. dollar, could um, force the the U.S. dollar to depreciate for two rivals, and this scenario could uh, signal that uh, maybe the metals, the metals, uh, gold, silver could could um, jump towards new highs okay so this is my opinion about uh, about gold right now i'll wait to see how it will react here and uh, as i've said maybe in the short term it could uh, try to retreat a little maybe to come back down um before it will uh, develop a new uh, upwards movement or staying above um, staying above uh, maybe um, 1965 above um, above the immediate low here uh, could also signal an upside continuation from here maybe a new bullish momentum um, from around the, from around the current levels but as I said up earlier maybe I would like to see a new higher high here and then uh, an accumulation consolidation um, or um, or a temporary retreat after making a new higher high could uh, could could signal potential for their for their growth. But right now the upside pressure remains high, and um, the only test retest here um, and the new lower low could activate a potential downside movement because uh, here staying near or uh, around uh, this former high may signal an imminent breakout and uh, probably uh, this scenario could uh, could signal a, an upside breakout above the former highs uh, as well okay so um yeah personally i'll wait for uh, maybe i'll wait for the economic data and then i will um, i will identify i will try to identify a new potential potential trade because um these are seen as high impact events and anything could happen okay um, the price of gold could register a sharp movements in both directions and then i will try to um, to catch something like a high probability trade okay <clears throat> thank you guys don't forget to um, to uh, to read the disclaimer and don't forget to um, to visit uh, to visit our uh, our uh, website okay instagram please follow us youtube please subscribe and uh, learn to trade um, forex signals if you want to join the vip groups bye bye